Hey DIYers, is Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going over why won't my 5834 key fob program. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing how to program it on the Lynx system, which is very similar to how you would program it on the Lyric system as well, so I'm going to clump those two together. And I'm also going to briefly mention the Vista system and some troubleshooting steps for that as well. So first thing you're going to want to do when you're programming these fobs is go into Tools. Uh, just to mention again, the Lyric and the Lynx are the same exact process. So you go into tools, you're gonna enter your installer code, ours is still the default, 4112. We're gonna go to program, and we're gonna go to keys. So we'll do add new, make sure we assign it to a user. I'm gonna put it as the master user in this case. If you do not assign a user, you cannot save the key fob and it will not function. We're gonna press on serial number next, it's gonna pull up our keypad. We can either manually enter in the serial number from the keypad itself, from the key fob itself, or we can do an auto-enrollment. I'm going to do auto-enrollment. So for auto-enrollment, I'm going to hold down the arming key. Heard the beep from the uh, panel. I'm going to do it a second time, two beeps, and then third time, three beeps, full acknowledgement. And then as you see, it's kicked me back to the programming screen so I can see how the buttons are set up. Uh, button one is our arm away button. Button number two is our disarm button. Button three is our arm stay. And button four, right now I have it set to no response, but this can be uh, set up as a panic option. Police, medical, uh, fire, anything like that. But today I'll just leave it as no response. So everything on there is looking good. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna back out to the home screen. Actually, before I fully back out, I am gonna double check that this system is in high security mode. What that means, pretty much when you program the fob, there are two security modes, high security and low security. Low security is usually how they come by default. Uh, that means it's just not encrypted, it's just sending out you know, the same signal over and over. Uh, high security means that the signal that this sends out is encrypted, it's basically a rolling code, meaning it's a different code each time, and then the panel actually predicts the next code that's gonna happen. So it makes it a little bit more secure. So I want this to be in high security because I want the most secure uh, feature as possible. So we're gonna do basically tools, program, and then this is the program screen. We're gonna do test and then go, no go, test. As you can see, it's kicked us back to the home screen. Uh, we are in the test mode as it says on top. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the top two and the right, I'm sorry, the top two and the left. So the arm away, disarm, and arm stay. I'm gonna hold those down, the panel's gonna beep at me two times to indicate it's picked up the feature. And it hasn't done it, so what I'm gonna check is that the key fob, I'm gonna check that the key fob itself is in high security. So to check that, you're gonna press on an arm button for the fob, and mine is lighting up green. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change this to high security, so I'm gonna hold down the top two, I'm sorry, I'm gonna hold down the top left and the bottom two. And then if you saw that, my LED changed from green to red, this is now in high security. Let me try this once more on here to make sure that that is set up properly. not give me the indication but it might also already be in the settings so I'm going to disarm that's taking us out of the test mode let me try to arm the system okay it's working with the arming I'm going to disarm perfect and then just to try once more arm stay and it's functioning and then arm away I mean disarm so yeah um, so pretty much if you program your fob, if you see that the serial number is in there correctly, you have it assigned to a user, uh, but when you try to arm or disarm, if nothing is happening, you wanna check the security mode on the fob itself. So if it's green LED, it's low security. If it's red LED, it's high security. And then you can also do the high security enabling on the Lynx panel or the Lyric or even the Vista uh, by doing that process. So tools, installer code, program, test, and then go, no-go test. Now for the Vista, just to kind of briefly go over that, 
Since I don't have it programmed to this, I'm not going to do the actual function. I'm just going to show how to initiate the go no go test. So to do that on the Vista, you're going to have to use your installer code followed by the pound key and then four. So our installer code is still 4112 pound and then four. And then the two beeps indicates that we are in go no go test and then same idea. If you want to get out of the test, just disarm. Ours is still 1234. One, two, three, four, and then one for disarm. Okay, so we have the key fob programmed. We made sure everything is in the correct security state. We have an encrypted fob with the encrypted panel settings. Um, and then that's pretty much it. It's gonna be functioning now. I can have the key fob work when I want it to. Uh, if the key fob does go out of range, obviously it won't work. It has about a 200 foot range on it. Um, anything past that just won't function. Uh, that's where you're going to start using remote applications such as Total Connect. But obviously, with your when you're within the area, the fob will function. If you had any more questions or want to learn more about the key fobs, high security modes, the panels, anything like that, uh, check out our website, alarmgrid.com. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we release more content. Thank you very much and have a good day.